Hey guys, it's Nelson with Chromecast Softmodder, and today I'm going to show you EasyCast, an application that you can use with Chromecast to cast photos, videos, your web browser, documents, and more. So you can find it for free on the Play Store. Uh, I'm going to open it up. So here it is, EasyCast. Uh, it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi and to the Chromecast. So once this is done, um, we can tap at the top and tap on to continue. So I'm going to tap to continue. Uh, then from here, select Chromecast. And you should see the connection to your television. And there we go. Now you can see that it's connected. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is photo. I'm going to go through all the features. First one is photo. Here you can uh, go to any photos. And you can see that it appears on uh, your television. If you uh, tap down here, you can draw. So you can see that I drew, and it appears on the television as well. Okay, so now we'll get out of here. Next feature that I'm going to cover is camera. This one uh, sets up a live feed onto your television. So you can see using the front camera, you can also use the rear camera, and you can change it from here. So you can see, here's looking around, wonder how to. Um, if you want to change the quality, you can tap on quality and go to from high to low. If you go to high, uh, the image will become a little bit more laggy. So I prefer low to use on this. Next feature uh, is music. Here you can use any of, uh, any of these apps. I'm gonna use Sound Picker. And from there you go through all your music. I'm gonna select this one. Then you press done. And you should have this appear. Um, this uh, is a play button and the volume up and down and on here you should get a black music box on the EasyCast it's not the prettiest thing but as you can see it works pretty well okay now we'll head out of here and we can go to video it's same thing like photo uh, I'm gonna go to my gallery and I'm gonna select one of the videos so I'll select this one. This one was shot horizontally, so it'll be full screen on the television. If you shoot it vertically, it'll just show up as a slither in between. So once this starts playing, you'll see that it's full screen. So yeah, make sure any videos that you want to cast, if you want them to be in full screen so they can look better, uh, shoot them while, you, um, while your phone is in landscape mode. Okay, so we'll get out of here now. Next feature is document. This one's actually my favorite. I'm going to tap on S. Um, here I have a PDF that I downloaded. So I'm going to open that up. And you can now see that the PDF is casted onto the television. If I turn this and zoom in, you can see that it appears, it appears full screen on the television. And this is great for notes in class if you want to show them on your television. It's almost like a PowerPoint kind of thing because you can also draw. And, you know, as if you're pointing on something, and you'll see that the arrow appears on there. Um, I, th I think this one's really useful, you know, for, like I said, for uh, studying or just some kind of, you want to write or you have a PDF of a book and you want to have it on a bigger screen as opposed to this or a Kindle or whatever. You can have it on your television. All right. Uh, next one is web, which I know a lot of you guys are going to like. This one mirrors the web browser that's built in here on your uh, on your device so I can just look up anything like um, let's see uh, Big Bang you press go not the Big Bang Theory but here I'll go to Wikipedia and the Wikipedia page will be cast on there so it's almost like you're just mirroring it uh, you can use it to to see Reddit or some other kind of stuff, whatever your favorite sites are, just onto the television, and it'll be a live, just a live mirror of it on there. And this one's pretty useful just for reading articles and stuff like that on your television. So I'll exit out of here. Next one is Cloud Video. This one's almost like web, but it just kind of takes all of the video sites that work with this application and puts them here. You can see YouTube. Uh, Vimeo, Video Jug. Some of these don't work with the uh, with Chromecast. They work with the EasyCast dongle because they have their own dongle. But the ones that work are Sky News HD, CBS Sports, um, CBS News. Uh, I can show you guys one. I'll just go to CBS News. 
and just try to find a video here okay, and I'll just press play now here and you can see this appear kind of the same thing that appeared when you played the music and it'll just load onto your television depending on how long the video is it depends on how long it loads and here's a couple of ads before the video that show up so you can see that it works pretty good okay we'll get out of here now okay so the next one is cloud storage this one you can uh, log into your Dropbox and cast some of your uh, photos, videos, even web documents on there. So you just uh, tap on there and log in. Uh, this one's live. Live doesn't actually work with the Chromecast. Uh, it's supposed to show live videos on your television from YouTube and from other sites, but it doesn't work at all. Uh, the final ones aren't really features, they're just kind of things that you can use. A uh, comment, you can use to write a comment uh, regarding the application if you have some sort of complaint. It also mirrors it for some reason, but I don't know why you would want to mirror a complaint that you're sending to someone. Uh, the other one is update. That one you can check uh, if you are updated. Uh, if I press update now, I'm on the most updated one, so you'll see that this comes up. And finally, there's one more feature. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, and it's social. Uh, this one's basically like web, except that it takes all of the social media sites and puts them in one place. So you can check your Instagram, your Twitter, uh, all on th through your uh, through your television. So I'm gonna press Twitter. I've already logged in, and you can see that it appears. If I turn the phone, you can see a full screen, which is pretty cool to use Twitter. Uh, this is one of my other favorite ones. Um, other than the uh, web documents or the word documents and you can see you can just scroll through your through your Twitter account and it goes on there and it works pretty well all right well that's it thanks guys uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at Chromecast Softmodder all right thanks guys